gave them a three on the left wing, and that was the one kind of negative there. We weren't hoping to leave that guy open. Right. Did you get a feeling that Remy just wasn't going to let you guys lose? Yeah, he's, he's amazing. Uh, just heart and uh, just determination and, and just will to win. I mean, he's as good as anybody that I've had that way. Just uh, and he's got such great, you know, internal fortitude or whatever that that um, you know he knew this was a must-win game because we had just you know lost a tight one uh, to Virginia and couldn't afford to really drop another game. And uh, he's got big picture things in mind if, if we could really you know get some other guys playing well uh, that he is. Yeah, I was in awe of watching it really just as it was playing out when he was going on that run to, to get us back in the game. I was just kind of sitting back and just watching how brilliant he was. What's it say then with the game on the line twice? He, he dished it to the open man when he, when he had uh, drew the defense in. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's probably a, a part of his overall development and just uh, understanding and, you know, trusting his teammates and, and making the right play. I mean, he just made, you know, the appropriate play. And, you know, it was uh, perfect. Bobby, first of all, welcome back home. Thank you. Followed you a long time with your dad also. Tell me about the second half. You guys were leaving a lot of open shots early, but you start second half, you seemed like you was closing out, and which side out was uh, better? Yeah. You know, I think some of the two we're, we're, we're picking up and we're, and we're you know, we're, we're getting, you know, getting good ball pressure. We didn't create as many turnovers as I would have hoped. I think 11 was was low considering where our averages were. So I think it starts on that end of the floor. If we could, um, you know, force teams to be a little bit uncomfortable, uh, that helps us later as the game progresses.